Okay, so by this point, you should have already watched the teacher-led um, practice exercise where I showed you exactly how you're going to do the next exercise. Um, so that means you're ready for the collaborative practice exercise. So when you're ready for that, you should have open the collaborative practice reading and the collaborative practice exercise. And both, of course, are linked in your playlist. Um, so before you do that, I just wanted you to watch this to hear um, how that's going to go. So what that means is you're going to go to the, a collaborative area. And if you're not sure if I haven't already pointed it out to everybody, ask me and I'll let you know where to go and who you're going to work with. I'll help team you up. Um, with somebody or maybe a couple other people who are in the same spot as you. What you're going to do is you are all going to read the passage aloud together. So you can divide that up if you want. Um, or perhaps you all want to silently read it through together. You can decide that as a group or as a team if you're going to read it through silently yourself first or if you want to read it out loud first. But regardless... Um, at some point you're going to read it together and when you get to a word that is underlined and bolded, um, you're going to open up the practice exercise doc and you're going to work through identifying what the context clues are that lead you to define that word and you're going to move that over into that document just like how I showed you in the exercise that I did for you. And then you're going to decide as a group um, so you need consensus, which means you need to agree on what the definition could be of that word based on the context clues or perhaps the internal clues, meaning the different parts of the word. So if it has a prefix or a root or suffix that somebody in your group knows um, and you can figure it out based on that. So um, the key is that you are working together, that this is collaborative. So please don't just divvy it up. I want the all of you, if it's one or two people, whoever's in the group, to talk through the answers and come to agreements together. A very important part of your learning is vocalizing it, okay? So talking through what those context clues are, what your thought process is, and hearing yourself say that or hearing somebody else say that. So that's not an optional part of the activity. It's very important for your learning that you do this as instructed, as a group, together, out loud, okay? And after you work through all 10 of those and you've reached consensus, you're going to flag me down, and I'm going to come over to your group, and we're going to talk through what you came up with together. Um, just as I said in the video, it does you absolutely no good to look up um, the definitions online. Please don't do that. For one thing, this is just to help you um, practice before the exam. And that's what goes in the grade book. So the more seriously you take this as an exercise, um, then the better you will do on your exam, the higher your grade will be for this learning target in the grade book. Um, so make sure nobody's looking up the answers because that is going to hurt you. That's not going to help you. Okay. Um, and of course, if as you're reading, if you need help with anything or have any questions, please raise your hand and I'll be right over to help you.